All right, we've come a long way. We have, in just a matter of a few minutes here, we have set up the homepage of our website. You know how to do blog posts so that you can continue to build out your site and attract people to your website. Showed you how to do pages and also some of the navigation. Now we're going to get into the kind of the last part here, other than the part where we're going to show you how to connect a regular domain name to make this site not look like it is hosted on Ghost, and that is to look at your email list. So there's, a, there's a, by default, if you're just getting started, you can use their built-in kind of email list feature. If you have a larger email list, you may not want to import them all into Ghost because once you get up past a few thousand members, the cost of Ghost goes up. I think it's very reasonably priced for people who are just getting started. You got less than, let's say, 5,000 people on an email list. Then this is perfect, a perfect way to get started. You can use this plus Gumroad and build a business full time if you want, which is really simple. Keeping things simple here is, uh, is my model anyway. But let's jump into this. And we've worked our way down through the dashboard, viewing the site, post. We've done pages, tags. Now I've clicked on members. So what you're going to do to, in order to use it is you're going to need to get somebody in here. So it says put your name in uh, if you want to do this. So I just clicked on it. This was uh, a less used email address of mine that I clicked on and it just made that look like this is a member. So if you end up having 100 people, 200 people, 300 people, they're all going to show up here. Okay. If you really want to import, you can come up here to import. You can also export later, which is the part that I said is once you get up past a thousand members, you might want to export them and use a, an, a different tool, depending on how the cost weigh out. You want to always do it in a cost effective way. If you ever want to add somebody manually, you can do that, but don't just add people. These are people who they know that they're being put on your list. So I'm going to hit leave on that. All right, so that is how they, where they show up when they subscribe on your website. Now, the thing about Ghost is it's simple by design. And I've been looking for a tool like this for a long time because a lot of my audience is just like overwhelmed with just getting started. And I love Ghost for that. What it's not going to have for you are these automated sequences, funnel pages, all of that. But the truth is you don't need it right now. You're just trying to build up an audience, share your message, maybe make some sales with like using Gumroad with this, which they've got an integration on that. You can do perfectly fine. There are people who have full-time businesses that they use Ghost and Gumroad. That's what they use. You can certainly do that. But what I want to do is I want to show you how you would send emails because even though you can't send automated emails, you can send out scheduled emails and you can send out like live broadcast emails. So let's jump over into it. If you scroll down, you're going to have some help articles here, depending on when you watch this and when I recorded it, it may look different. So you certainly can look at these, but again, ghost is trying to keep things simple. So here's how this works. You actually want to go start a post in order to produce an email. This will make sense as I get into this. So let's say that this is my email newsletter. And when I begin writing, I can click on this little plus icon. And if I scroll down, you will see email content. This might be hard to see unless I zoom in here a little bit. Email content. Only visible when delivered by email. So if you click on that, it's going to by default throw in, hey, first name, you tab down and say, I hope you're having a great week. Here's this week's newsletter. I'm not sure what's on my, yeah, I just got some dummy text. So let's say I'm formatting this as a newsletter, okay? And then say at the bottom, I say, your message matters, Jonathan. Okay. So 
Now, this is not going to be published as a public post if you choose the right option. So I could make this a blog post and insert this in there as well. That's getting a little bit more advanced, but I just want to show you how to do just email only. So let's say, okay, I got my email ready to go, Jonathan. I want to send it to people on my list. When you come up here to publish, you're going to have some options here. Publish and email means it's going to publish the post. Now, in this case, it's not going to show the email content because that's only going to go to the email list. It's going to just publish a page with the title. We don't want to do that. So if we click on our options here, we're going to choose email only. Obviously, I only have one subscriber right now, but you can add tags, which is another step in a little bit more advanced. But if you wanted to go in and tag people, so for example, if you had four people who were your coaching clients, you could go into their emails and tag them as coaching clients. And what that would allow you to do is click on that tag and would only send that email to your four coaching clients. All right, then you've got right now, or you can schedule this for some time in the future. Then you're going to continue for final review. You can click on preview, which is going to show you how the page looks actually. Oh, actually, if you click on this, it'll show you what the email looks like. I forgot. So here's what the email looks like. Boom, looks good. I can even send a test email if I really want to look and see what this looks like before I send it out to a bunch of my subscribers. I can do that. And then when I'm ready, I click on publish. It is really that simple. So the key here again is you want to start with a post and then you want to choose e the email option. And then you type up your email and when you send it, say email only. So it won't show up and clutter your website as a blank post is a goal. The reason why they have the two options is because you could write your post and at the very bottom, write an email that you want to go out for them to come back and read the actual post. So I could write an email and say, hey, just publish a new post. Here's the link. Come read the blog post. And I'm doing two things at once. Well, cool. But for some people, that's maybe a little bit confusing. So I just wanted to show you, you can just send a simple email. All right. So that is it for this video. I hope you're seeing the simplicity and the power of Ghost and how you can use this to have a professional brand, create content, build your email list, and even collect payment while keeping it simple, which I love.